What's up, Internet? It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness. Once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt, but this time, it's story time. One common subject that a lot of people seem to have an issue with when it comes to getting in shape, exercise, nutrition, is motivation. How do I get motivated? What the hell is motivation? I just can't seem to get my ass motivated to exercise, to get to the gym, or to make a change in my lifestyle. Well, rather than try to describe what motivation is or tell you how you should get motivated, I'm gonna tell you a true story that I think sums up this topic very nicely. This is a true story about two frogs I know named Jack and Jill. Now, Jack and Jill lived on a comfortable lily pad in the middle of a beautiful pond. They had the ideal life. They sat around all day, bathing in the sun, eating flies. But one day, Jack got a little bit bored of this life, and he said, you know what, let's have a little bit of an adventure. Uh, Jill wasn't so sure. She was pretty comfortable, but Jack insisted, you know, let's get off this lily pad. Uh, let's get out of this, this pond, and let's check out the forest down over yonder and, uh, you know, eat a variety of different bugs and uh, live it up a little bit. So, with some convincing, Jill agreed, and Jack and Jill headed off towards the forest to enjoy the afternoon. Well, on the way to the forest, they had to pass over this dirt road. Uh, this wasn't a very well-traveled dirt road. I mean, maybe the odd pedestrian, a bicycle, or a cart might go by. Uh, so they just checked it out, made sure it was safe, and hopped across, and boom, they were in the forest, enjoying all different kinds of insects to eat, uh, the beautiful plants, different wildlife, and the scenery. And they had an awesome afternoon, but soon enough, the sky started to darken up, and they heard the rumblings of thunder. And they thought, you know, well, we better get the heck out of here. It looks like a storm's coming. But before they could even reach the edge of the forest, a torrential downpour. It started raining like crazy. The whole forest was getting soaked, and they started racing back towards their pond and the safety of their lily pad. But on the way there, again, they came to the dirt road. But this time, the dirt road had been completely soaked, and it was just a muddy, sludgy mess. Now, to make matters worse, while they were away, a cart had gone by in this dirt road and had left a deep rut in the dirt road. So now they come up to the dirt road and they have this huge gap for them to get across, to get back to their lily pad. Now, Jill looks at it and says, how the heck are we going to get back to our pond? We've got this huge rut to get across now. Well, Jack says, like, don't worry, we can jump across it. We're frogs. That's what we do. We jump. And Jill's like, I don't know. This is deeper and further than I've ever jumped before. I don't think I can do it. Jack tries to motivate her, but to no avail. So Jack says, listen, I'm going to show you how to do it. Just do what I do. So he lines up, gets in position, jumps across, double backflip, perfect landing. It's a 10 out of 10, and turns back to Jill and says, there, just do what I did. So she jumps up, kind of gives it a half-ass effort, hits the side of the rut, and down she goes. Jack looks down at her, and Jill's looking up. There she is, stuck in a rut. How many of you can relate to that? being stuck in a rut. I think we've all been there. So now she's looking up saying, how the heck can I get out of here? Jack says, don't worry, you can get out of there, just jump up. And Jill's looking up, I can't, this is way too high, I've never jumped that high before. So Jack says, listen, I'll show you. He jumps in, he says, watch me. Jumps up, hits the side of the rut, bounces off the other side, does a double flip, again, perfect 10, lands on the, on the top of the rut and says, just do what I did. And Jill's not so sure, she gives it a shot, Hits the side of the rut, slides down. She's still stuck in a rut. So Jack says, you know what? I can't be here all day. You know, I wish you the best of luck, but I'm going to head back to the lily pad. Yeah, Jack's a bit of a prick. So he leaves Jill stuck in the rut, and he heads back to the lily pad. And the sun comes out again. It's a clear sky. He has the whole lily pad to himself. He's sitting there catching flies, soaking up the rays, enjoying the whole pond to himself. But after an hour or so, he looks over and he sees another lily pad flowing by and it looks like there's a frog on it. And as it gets closer, he notices it's Jill. And so he's like, hey, Jill, how you doing? You got out of the rut. She doesn't look too pleased, but she says, yeah, yeah, I made it out, I made it out. And he's like, well, what was it? Was it my motivation, the way I motivated you to get out of the rut? She's like, no, that wasn't it. And he's like, well, it was the technique I showed you. I showed you how to get out. And that's what, that's what finally got you to get out of that rut. She's like, no, that wasn't it either. So. Jack's baffled. He's like, well, what was it? How'd you get out? And Jill says, there was another cart coming and I had to get out. 
Okay, so hang on, there's actually a moral to this story. And that is, if you don't find a way to get motivated to make some changes now, life is going to find a way to motivate you later on in a way that you're probably not going to like. Ultimately, your motivation has to come from inside you. If it comes from somewhere else, it's probably not going to last. So you got some goals you want to accomplish, focus on them, find a way to get it done, and make it happen. Till next time, stay strong. Stay strong.